This is CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. Well, you can say goodbye to dull gifts. Lightbox lab-grown diamonds are the brightest gift of the year. Using cutting-edge technology and innovative techniques, they've cracked the science of sparkle, creating some of the highest quality lab-grown diamonds you can find. And it comes at a light price, $800 per carat. Lightbox lab-grown diamonds are the gift they'll never want to take off, priced so they won't have to. Lightbox lab-grown diamonds make any outfit sparkle all year long. Because with Lightbox lab-grown diamonds, there's never a dull moment. Get it? To add sparkle to your holiday shopping, get 10% off your purchase at lightboxjewelry.com and use promo code LAB10. That's lightboxjewelry.com, promo code LAB10 for 10% off your purchase. Lightboxjewelry.com. Battling Omicron. Pfizer says two doses are not enough. Social media showdown at the Capitol. Legislation is coming soon. Snow drought in ski country. I've been in the ski industry for 20 years, and I've never really seen it like this. Good morning. I'm Steve Kathan with the CBS World News Roundup. There's new information this morning in the battle against the Omicron variant of the coronavirus from one of the major vaccine makers. Here's CBS's Vicki Barker. Pfizer's just released a statement saying that its early laboratory tests suggest a third dose of its COVID vaccine neutralizes the Omicron variant, but that two doses are significantly less effective. Pfizer's stock leaping at the announcement, which comes one day after South African researchers said the Pfizer vaccine appears to be one fortieth as effective against Omicron compared with its effectiveness against early forms of the virus. More from CBS's Deborah Pata in Johannesburg. Well, the a study from South Africa shows Omicron evades some vaccine immunity. Cases here so far are far milder than previous waves, says vaccinologist Professor Shabri Amadi. And what that tells us is that we're building up some level of immunity, even against Omicron, which is adequate to prevent that progression from infection to severe disease. It's known as T-cell immunity. Induced by vaccines and past infections, it prevents the disease from becoming more severe. And Mardi says here in Johannesburg, where infections are surging, over 70% of the population has antibodies against COVID. And it's not just from inoculations. A day after Instagram rolled out what it called new protections for teen users, the company CEO, Adam Mosseri, goes before a congressional committee. CBS's Chris Van Cleve says Instagram's been accused of doing little while being fully aware of potential harmful effects on mental health. He's expected to highlight some of the new features that the company says will make Instagram safer for teens. Ahead of today's hearing, Instagram announced the new features, including updated parental controls and reminders for teens to take breaks. The senators leading today's hearing say Instagram's new efforts fall short. Not only do they know that their destructive content is driving kids down these rabbit holes to eating disorders and self-harm, even suicide. But they're profiting from it. Senators Richard Blumenthal and Marsha Blackburn are working on drafting legislation that will provide better protection for kids and teens and may also require social media apps to be more transparent. And Masseri is expected to say that Instagram will support some new regulation. Last night in Washington. On this vote. The yeas are 222. The House passed a measure that will raise the debt ceiling. It can pass in the Senate with no Republican votes. They were working against a deadline of next week when the government could have defaulted on its debts. Now to Colorado, where the big money ski industry has an early season problem. CBS's Mark Strassman in Steamboat Springs reports on a snow drought. Steamboat Ski Report? patchy at best. People just really want to get out and we just don't have enough snow yet. 170 trails here, five open. 17 chairlifts, only one shuttling skiers up the mountain. I've never really seen it like this. Steamboat's Lauren Duke told us all the snow here man-made. We're only using 1% of the resort to offer skiing and riding at this time. In early December, typically 30% of Steamboat's trails have skiers. We've seen about 50% of average snowpack 
across the state of Colorado. Meteorologist Joel Gratz found it open snow. He blames climate change for this warm December weather. People are definitely paying attention to the lack of snow. Thankfully, we still have a couple of weeks to go until the busiest holiday period. Steamboat has 100 staffers making snow or trying to. But in this warm weather, snow guns and trail groomers have little chance. In Hawaii, the problem is deep water. The slow-moving storm system packing heavy rain has caused a lot of flooding. Five boys were rescued from a raging creek in Honolulu. By now, you've probably heard all about cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. You might even already be investing in them. But did you know that you could invest in cryptocurrencies through your retirement account? That's right. With iTrust Capital, you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies from a crypto IRA and get all the same tax advantages as a traditional IRA. The iTrust Capital platform is easy to use, and it only takes a few minutes to create your account. Setting up an IRA is free, and iTrust fees are low. It's time to start taking control of your financial future. With iTrust Capital, you can get all the tax benefits of a retirement account while investing in crypto. Visit iTrustCapital.com to start investing today. That's iTrustCapital.com. Taxes and conditions may apply. Fees apply. Cryptocurrencies are a speculative investment with risk of loss. iTrust Capital Incorporated does not provide legal, investment, or tax advice. Consult with a qualified legal, investment, or tax professional. The Kremlin said today the U.S. and Russia will follow up with lower-level talks after yesterday's Putin-Biden video call. The two-hour call had the president warning Vladimir Putin of severe economic consequences should he invade Ukraine. Specific, robust, clear responses should they be required. On top of new sanctions, the president's national security advisor says the U.S. would send additional arms to Ukraine and look at boosting the existing American troop presence in Eastern Europe. Jake Sullivan called it a direct and straightforward message from Mr. Biden. There was no finger wagging, but the president was crystal clear about where the United States stands on all of these issues. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, the White House. The inspector general of the Capitol Police has told Congress security still needs to be improved after the January attack and 130 officers have left the Capitol force since the deadly mayhem. A more than two-month-long strike at four Kellogg's cereal plants in four states goes on after the union rejected a tentative settlement. Kellogg's is now looking to hire permanent replacement workers. Union official Kevin Robinson predicts that will be futile. They can try. I don't think any permanent worker is going to want to get bussed in by a charter company and cross a picket line. Nearly 20 years ago, one of the big stories was the Scott Peterson murder case in California. He was convicted of killing his pregnant wife and unborn son. Now, a new development. Scott Peterson has been on California's death row since 2005, but last year the state Supreme Court ruled the judge in the case made a mistake by excluding potential jurors opposed to the death penalty. A juror can be not supportive of the death penalty as long as they say they can fairly consider it. San Mateo County District Attorney Steve Wagstaff says Peterson will have to be formally resentenced to life without parole. It's a reminder that sometimes these types of cases never go away. Matt Bigler for CBS News, San Francisco. A company once owned by Martin Shkreli will pay up to $40 million to settle allegations that have boosted the price of a life-saving medication by about 4,000 percent. The move left some patients with co-pays as high as $16,000. Shkreli is behind bars serving seven years for a securities fraud conviction. When buying gifts for others, you know your choices impact lives in ways big and small now and forever. Your tasteful, thoughtful, and meticulous, the same goes for your holiday gifts. Celebrate the ones you love with a gift from Etsy Home, with unique, one-of-a-kind, and meaningful gifts made by incredibly talented sellers. Etsy is giving first-time shoppers $10 off an Etsy purchase of $35 with code ETSYGIFT10. That's $10 off a purchase of $35 or more with code ETSYGIFT10. Again, that's ETSYGIFT10. Offer ends December 31st, 2021. The Land of Oz is getting its first Good Witch of Color. For the first time in nearly two decades, a black actress will take on the role of Glinda full-time in Broadway's Wicked. You can call me Glinda. Brittany Johnson has played the role before. She's been a part of the musical since 2018, and in 2019 made her debut on Glinda's Bubble as an understudy. Popular. You're 
Johnson officially gets promoted to permanently wear the crown in February, and she'll have a big cheering section, including the original Glinda, Kristen Chenoweth, who congratulated Johnson on social media. Monica Ricks, CBS News. Harper Collins says it has dropped plans to publish Chris Cuomo's new book called Deep Denial because of the sexual harassment allegation against him. CNN, which fired Cuomo, also revealed his ouster included no back pay. That's the Roundup. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. When we talk about McDonald's combo meals, we talk about savory meat, golden fries, and your favorite drink. Now, the combo meals just got crispy, juicy, and tender with the new crispy chicken sandwich combo. And you have to try it. Get a classic or spicy crispy chicken sandwich with medium fries and a medium soft drink like Sprite for only six bucks. Promotion pricing may be lower than meal pricing. Cannot be combined with any other offer. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba.